Hello my people, my name is Meacham. Welcome to the SCORE channel. Today we are going to answer a very simple question. Should you take the Duolingo English test in 2022? Whether you should take the Duolingo English test or not this year depends largely on where you are going to apply to. So we're going to take a regional approach to this video, cover a bunch of different countries that we've talked about before on the channel, and let you decide whether you should take the test or not. Let's start with the US of A, land of the free, home of the brave, and the birthplace of the Duolingo English test. Test. The general consensus in the United States is that the Duolingo is here to stay. Now this test has credit in the United States. Universities seem to understand this and they don't seem to be afraid of accepting the Duolingo in the long term. Between my university videos and the SCORE University Fair that we held recently, I've been asking a lot of admissions officers how they feel about the Duolingo. And in fact, most of them recommend taking the Duolingo instead of a TOEFL or IELTS because it's only $49. At a price that's less than a quarter of what competitors charge, it really just makes sense to take the Duolingo English test if you're applying only to the United States. When we start looking at other countries though, the situation gets a little complicated. For example, in Canada, we kind of have a mixed response. Universities like the University of Toronto and McGill will continue to accept the Duolingo English test, but then there's other universities like UBC and Simon Fraser that say they will only take it if it's the only option you have. During the pandemic, TOEFL and IELTS test centers had to close down, which meant that for several months, nobody could get an English test unless they went with the Duolingo. But now that things are getting back to sort of normal, most countries' test centers have reopened Claiming that you couldn't take any other English exam probably isn't going to be a great excuse in 2022. If you're targeting just a handful of Canadian universities that accept the Duolingo, go for it, but you're probably gonna wanna take an IELTS if Canada is your main destination. Sticking with English-speaking countries that still swear fealty to the Queen, Australia is a big no-go for Duolingo. The University of Melbourne goes out of its way to specifically say they won't take the Duolingo, while most other universities just don't even mention it anywhere on their English language requirements. No respect for Duolingo. Speaking of the Queen, let's go over to Europe. Europe has never really been a big fan of the Duolingo English test, and that is still very visible today. As I've said before on this channel many times, if you want to get a student visa to the UK, you are going to need to take a certified English language test. The Duolingo is not one of those tests, and even though some universities will accept it, they can't give you a visa based on that test result. If you're going to apply to the UK, avoid the Duolingo take the IELTS UKVI academic, you won't have any problems. One of the most popular international student destinations in the world is the Netherlands, and they do not like the Duolingo. They do not even mention it on most of their university websites. Some universities were temporarily accepting it back in 2020 and 2021, but today, in 2022, you better bring an IELTS if you want to get in. Today, there's not even a mention of the Duolingo test in the Netherlands if you're looking at Utrecht or Groningen or the University of Amsterdam. It's it's like it doesn't even exist. The same is true in Italy as well, although in Italy it's not as big of a deal because most universities have their own English test that you can take and they're pretty lenient on their English level requirements. With the exception of Bocconi and other top universities, you can pretty much just take the university test and be right in. As far as Denmark goes, you're not going to need any English language proficiency exams because the government has basically killed almost all of the programs that were taught in English. This is a topic for another video that I'm working on so subscribe to the channel if you want to check that out. But basically, this government decision that came out a few months after my video on how to study in Denmark has basically made that video obsolete. And so I got to go back and talk about what changed, what English programs are still left, and how you can get into them. If we move over to Spain, we'll find that most universities don't take the Duolingo. Public universities don't even know what it is. Private universities, in some cases, will accept it, most notably, IE University. But the majority of cases in Spain are not going to take the Duolingo for admission. Overall in Europe, it's not looking good. Germany, like Canada, is another mixed bag. Many universities do not accept the Duolingo anymore, but there are some German universities that use the Common App for their applications, the same Common App that the United States uses, and they do take the Duolingo. For example, Bard College Berlin requires a 120 on the Duolingo to get admitted, while Jacobs University, one of the ones that our students got into, only calls calls for a 110 score. So if you see other German universities in the Common App, you might be able to apply with a Duolingo there. I even started looking at countries that we haven't covered before, like 
tech-loving Estonia, you would think that they would be a big fan, but no. No Duolingo in Estonia. There is one country, though, where the Duolingo in Europe seems to be a good choice, and that's Ireland. University College Dublin, Dublin City College, and Trinity College Dublin all accept the Duolingo, and they're some of the best universities in the country. They all ask for a 110 minimum score, which is pretty easily attainable. The only thing is that they say that currently this is temporary. They've extended this through 2022 and 2022. 23, so you can definitely use the Duolingo in Ireland for now. Whether it'll stay that way, it's anybody's guess. Duolingo English Test is definitely a great option for you in 2022 if you're applying only to the United States. If you're considering other countries, I really would recommend you take an IELTS or a TOEFL exam. And even with the TOEFL, you gotta be careful right now because the at-home version of the TOEFL, in some cases, is being treated like the Duolingo. Not every university is accepting it, so I would generally just recommend going the classic route, taking an IELTS at a test center. You won't have to worry about a thing, and you certainly won't have to worry about the UK taking your visa away. If you're considering applying to a different country and you want some advice on whether you should take the Duolingo or not, leave a comment below and ask. I'll be happy to go Google it for you and tell you what I found. We just covered the countries today that most people have expressed interest in countries that we've covered before on this channel but if there's anywhere else that you need some advice for you know what to do hit us up in the comments or go to prepperscore.com and see how we can help you with your applications I'm also going to be making a video of all my gear so if you're interested in seeing how I produce these videos that's coming out soon too anyway thank you so much for watching I will see you next week